Hey kids, I thought I'd give you a little quick flyby over the river's edge of marina here in St. Augustine, Florida. Well here we are taking off of the deck of the boat Hopscotch, the catamaran I'm staying on, 38 foot privilege, I'm sorry 37 foot privilege. Taking a little look up at the swamp, this is uh, right next to the marina, there's just a whole lot of swampy area right around this, in fact the marina is pretty shallow. The boat I'm staying on actually sits down on the hard at low tide, so not a lot of not a lot of room underneath the boats here and it's typical of this area you know a lot of muddy gray water it's mostly mussel shoals around this area so it's uh, basically a reef that's just a, created by mussels building up on top of mussels building up on top of mussels you know little black mussel clams so not mussels like as in strength this marina is mostly sailboats. There's some uh, motor sailors and some uh, other power boats in here, but as you can see, it's mostly a bunch of sticks. So it's a good sailing community. Nice potluck here at the at the marina. Um, there's we're looking at the parking lot. My truck is there at the bottom left-hand corner. And uh, this red roof building, this is, uh, I keep calling it Hurricane Annie's. It's actually Hurricane Patty's is the name of the restaurant. And the food's pretty good. Uh, prices are reasonable. Food's pretty good. It's pretty much all seafood. Now, that little deck you see right there at the bottom of the screen off the side of Hurricane uh, Patty's, that's a really nice spot to sit outside and eat. But last night, it was pretty buggy out there. And we spin around and take a look at the walkways. Now right there is the catamaran I'm sitting on, on the right hand side of the screen. See me sitting on the deck with Miss Lily. Take a little fly over and look at all the various boats and catamarans. A lot of catamarans uh, here. I was kind of surprised at the number of catamarans for uh, being a non-charter type operation. There's some guys that operate some fishing boats out of this marina. Which is kind of cool. There's hopscotch again. Oh, spin around. Now here I had an experiment. I, I was bothered by how white all the boats were looking at the angle I was at. And I find here that if I got down really low and came in at a different angle, I could get much better color saturation and a, and a much prettier picture, if you will. So I guess a lesson to be learned from me. You know, we all suck at YouTube at the beginning when we get started and we get better out with, with time. Here I've learned that uh, maybe when I'm filming things like this, I need to get a better angle, uh, come down low like I'm doing here. So I kind of did this shot as if we were on the boat and pulling into the slip. Give you an idea what that'd be like. So here we're coming in and there's Hurricane Patty's. Nice restaurant right there. Not quite open yet this morning. I filmed this pretty early. And there's me and Miss Lily flying right up to the boat. And I dropped it down here, but the, the uh, drone wouldn't land because of the proximity of the lifelines and the uh, rigging. Uh, the foresail was in the way, so it wouldn't actually set down on the deck, where, which it had taken off from. So I had to go ahead and stand up and grab it, which is fine. Just fine. And that's it, folks. So, anyhow, I hope you kind of enjoyed that little flyby here of the... Uh, uh, Eagle River Marina uh, in St. Augustine, Florida. I've really, really, really enjoyed my stay here. It has been uh, just pleasant uh, in all, in every single way. Uh, great food, really super people, um, nice and warm. It's not snowing. I'm not freezing my bippy off. I don't have to go to an outhouse. Uh, nice showers. I, you know, I've been able to go there and take a shower and cool off every day. Um, it's just really nice. They're having a potluck, I think, tonight or tomorrow night here at the marina. Um, you know, that's that cruising lifestyle, is being able to get out to these places and meet all these nice folks. And uh, it's just a real pleasant experience. It's a real pleasant quality of life. Um, you know, aside from the fact that, you know, you're not doing the normal 9 to 5. Well, that's not true. Now, there's a lot of people that live at this marina that do work jobs here in the area. Um, they live on their boat, so they enjoy the, the marina community, uh, but they also have their 9-to-5 jobs. I see them get up in the morning, they go to the bathroom, and, you know, they, they do their morning rituals, whatever, and get dressed up and get in their cars and go to work. And uh, at the end of the day, they come home from work and get on their boat and, 
you know, change out of their work clothes to their boat clothes and hang out and have a sundowner on the back deck and hang out and talk with the other people going by. <coughs> Miss Lily. Now, Miss Lily's really enjoying this. <coughs> Having been stuck up in our little remote cabin where she hasn't been able to get out and, you know, it's just been her and I. Really just her and I. Very little interaction with any other people. So, here she, she gets around. You can see the way the boat is here in the marina. I'm right against the restaurant on this side and I've got the ramp coming down to this whole dock right here. So we're in a real high traffic, high foot traffic environment where we're at. And she's just socializing with everybody. Everybody that walks by, she wags her tail at her, she woofs at, not mean woofs, but just woofs at, you know. And, and so everybody's getting to know Miss Lily and people are coming up and visiting her and giving her bones. and you know, little milk bones and stuff and petting her and so she's just she's just uh, a social butterfly all of a sudden and she's just having a ball with it. Right now she's laying down over here on the carpet and sleeping taking a snooze but uh, it's been uh, it's been great for her it's been absolutely awesome to me and uh, you know to the super super nice uh, uh, folks that own this catamaran uh, you know my my heartfelt thanks for allowing me to use this cat for a few days as a as a bit of a respite and as a place to boat shop although my boat shopping plans obviously has changed greatly uh, with the offer from Steve to come join him on his uh, 48 foot Tiana for the winter I mean that's I mean, how awesome is that right so it'll give me more opportunity to build up my channel and to uh, and to save some money so I can buy even a better boat come spring and you know one of my viewers mentioned that uh, the problem with this is that you know my boat shopping cut short and they were hoping to to, to see more of that well we're gonna see a lot of that I'm still looking for a boat um, I'm just gonna take my sweet bippy time and finding one so I'll be looking wherever Steve and I are down down the Florida Keys going over to the Bahamas I'm gonna be looking at boats all along and I'll be doing videos about boat shopping all along so, uh, in fact, there'll be even more video. I'm not in a hurry to buy one now. So I can, I can take my time and be very selective and find something that's really going to work for me. Find a deal. You know, there's always these little deals that pop up from time to time, you know. Something happens to somebody and they're unloading a boat very quickly for whatever reason. And, you know, I, I'm looking for that opportunity where I'm just in the right place at the right time. I'm not going to be in that situation if I'm sitting in a dry cabin up in Alaska. I would never be in the right place at the right time. Nobody where my cabin is 100 miles north of Anchorage up there in the big woods of Alaska was looking to get rid of a sailboat. Nobody. There wasn't a single person with 100 miles. I'll guarantee it. But down here in the, in the Florida Keys out on a sailboat selling these waters, a lot of these little opportunities pop up. So we're going to keep an eye on it and see what we can find. I'm sure we will find something and I'm sure it will be perfect. So anyhow, this is old grandpa signing off. We'll have more coverage for you later. Uh, I'm going to be cleaning up the boat today. A lot of brushes and vacuuming going on. Uh, this is Thursday. Tomorrow I'm driving from here to North Carolina to uh, go hook up with Steve. We're going to then move his boat from uh, where he is at, at uh, coin jock north carolina we're going to move it down to oriental because uh, we need to get some work done to the boat uh, and then i'll i don't know take an uber or something back up to oriental to get my truck and bring it down there and then i'll be selling my truck in oriental north carolina i guess so um that's the plan for now we'll see how all that turns out we'll have more for you later guys please do like and subscribe check out my patreon page if you would I would certainly appreciate it and it would give you an opportunity to get some of the inside information and uh, more content that won't be available to the general public. Um, I have a t-shirt on the market now for sale if anybody wants to check that out in merchandise. Other than that, this is Grandpa signing off saying you guys take really good care of each other, okay? Bye-bye.